Thanks Sarah for the last segment on the essentials that you need to bring to campus. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you how to navigate the student portal, how to access the student network and how to order food and parcels to your new university address. Once you've arrived at university and moved into your new accommodation, you'll be wanting to connect to the internet. To do this, you wanna to go to Wi-Fi settings and select UOR student, type in your username and password, which can be found under the Wi-Fi and digital information section in the welcome pack and then you have the option to change your password to whatever you want it to be. Now that you've moved in and are fully connected to the Wi-Fi, I want to show you how to access the student portal. To be able to do this, you want to type in www.rohampton.ac.uk and select student portal on the homepage. Alternatively, you can type in portal.rohampton.ac.uk and access the student portal that way. To be able to log into your student portal, you want to use the same information that you used to access your Wi-Fi. Once you've logged into the student portal, you will find key information about events and news that are going on around campus. You'll be able to find your academic timetable. You will be able to access your university email and use library resources. And you'll also be able to enter Moodle 2021, which is where your classes will be held. Thank you for letting me show you how to access your student Wi-Fi and log into the student portal. I'll now be passing it over to Lynn, who will show you how to access your academic timetable, check your grades and guide you through Moodle 2021, which is where you'll find your lectures and feedback from assignments that you've handed in. Hello everyone. Thanks Tom for introducing everyone to the student portal. So I hope everyone's well and I'll be showing you as part of a mini series on how the student platform can help you with your grades, your timetable and where to see work for your classes. First, to check your timetable, you're going to want to scroll down until you see timetable help and FAQs and then you'll click on it. Next, this will bring you to a page where you can see your timetable. If you click on the first box, some frequently asked questions about your timetable, understanding your timetable, which will show you what type of class it is, where it is, where is the class located on campus, when does the class start, and who's teaching the class. Next, we are going to be going over how to check your grades. To check your grades, you're going to want to start on the student portal and scroll all the way down to the My Reports section and click on Academic Profile. From there, you will see the cover page and explanations for marks according to what year you are in. To see your academic profile displaying your official marks corresponding to what courses you have taken, you will want to click the blue arrow over at the top of the screen to the second page and this will show you your grades. Our last short clip will show you how to access your classes and the materials for those classes. To access your classes and materials weekly displayed for those classes, you will start on the student portal and scroll down to Moodle 2020 to 2021 and click on it. You will need to log into Moodle using the same credentials for your internet login. Once you log in, you will see the main page displaying all your classes. You can further click on each of these classes and it will show you a weekly introduction and breakdown of what materials you will need to go over in order to be prepared for the week. Thank you all for joining me on how to go through your timetable, check your grades and to see where all your classes and the work for your classes are. I'm now going to give it over to Dante where he will show you how some of the other important items can be found throughout the student portal on Moodle. Thanks Lynn for showing everyone the essentials within the student portal. Today I'm going to be showing you your support features on the student portal how to check campus facilities and opening hours, the library, well-being support, and more. Starting off with the main page, you will see on the navigation bar your homepage, the campus facilities opening hours, the library, exams, well-being support, and our online store. Right below the navigation bar, you will see your online enrollment form. You will need to complete this if you have not done so already. And when you do complete this, it will turn green and state you have completed your online enrollment. Moving just past the online enrollment, you will see an announcements tab, coronavirus headlines and guidance, student news and events, which will all help you stay up to date with what's going in and around campus. When you scroll down, you are able to click on student support, which can prompt you from everything from academic to well-being guidance. The next tile highlights the common tasks page 
where it can show you a recap of everything you might need to know now that you are here as a student. We will also click on the Common Tasks tile, where it will show you everything from replacing your student ID card if you lose it, for how to contact a advisor or academic tutor, how to talk to security, and how to talk to other academic services you may need. The next big item to focus on is the library section of the student portal, where it can display most online materials and databases you will need in order to complete your online assignments and more. The next item would be our university career link, which shows you pathways to develop yourself professionally and what steps you can take to land a job with the Roehampton internship scheme or find a part-time work outside of Roehampton. Last but not least, there's the Student Medical Center and Health Information, which will help you access our on-campus medical center, instructions about what to do if you have the cold or flu symptoms, and so forth. Thank you all for coming along with me to go over some other important information that you will find on your student portal. I will now hand over to Akis, who will highlight what you can use for food delivery and other online methods that will help make the most out of your student experience. Hello everyone, I'm going to be going over with you some common mobile apps and websites that will help you get the most out of your student experience and save a little bit of extra money. The first product is Unidays, which helps you find discounts and other essentials you may need as a student. And the best part? It's free. Another service like Unidays is Student Beans, where it is a voucher store to get exciting discounts and more. Third, there is the Totem card in which you can sign up for a small cost that will allow you a plethora of discounts and benefits that you can access every day until you graduate. For food deliveries and goods delivered to your dorm address, you're going to want to head to the online store and type in your address as follows. The deliveries will usually come to the university gate or the front entrance, so keep in mind that you will have to go and collect your food. It will not be brought to your accommodation block. Thank you for watching this last part of the online activities and more. I will now be handing it over to my colleague Ray to provide you with an introduction to in-person locations you can go to while on campus.